Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Andrew Oliveros. I hope you are having a phenomenal day today. Uh, going into my senior year at uh, James Madison University in Harrisonburg, Virginia, or also known as JMU. Um, let's see. I've been interning at Sports Illustrated, uh, writing articles and posting Facebook stuff uh, on the Washington football team, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Houston Texans. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about my beloved, and I hope you're beloved, but that's okay if it's not, but the Washington football team. But yeah, so Kyle Allen, I don't know about Kyle Allen. Like, of course, he's going to make it to the team. He's one of Ron Rivera's guys. But yeah, Kyle Allen, he'll be probably like the third string, I think. My heart tells me that Taylor Heineke is going to be the starter. You're like, what? Taylor Heineke? Like, what did he do? He had one good game. I know, man, but this kid, Taylor Heineke, he is out to prove everyone wrong. I'm telling you, some of the stuff that I that I write about and some of the things I hear uh, from other, other sources, thank God for other sources, because I'm not actually like in the building, but I get from other sources to talk about the Washington football team on Sports Illustrated. They're saying that this guy is ready to compete. But yeah, so Ryan Fitzpatrick, I'm excited about how he'll be able to extend plays. I've already made an impact in the locker room, which I'm really excited about. Uh, then we got Steven Montez. Uh, he'll get you, if it's fourth and one, he'll get you that one yard, but he's getting older into his career and I don't really know what else, what he can do for us. He helped us out in a couple of key situations last year. Uh, Antonio Gibson, oh my gosh, this guy can ball. Man, all I hope is just he keeps doing what he's been doing. But I'm telling you, Antonio Gibson, he uh, put up some great numbers for us. Um, towards the end of this year, he had his turf turf toe injury, which kind of set him back a little bit. But he still, he would always fight. He would always fight for the extra yard. He had that certain spark that I saw in his eye. But yeah, so uh, Antonio Gibson, he's going to be our starter. And I'm really excited about him. Uh, and we'll just see. I hope I hope he does really well for, for the Washington football team. Uh, J.D. McKissick. I think J.D. McKissick is going to be... Actually, you know, I was really impressed with what he, what he did. He really helped us in the pass game, uh, especially coming from a running back. Uh, he had 6.9 yards of catch, 247 in receiving yards. 247, it's not a lot, but like it just seemed like he was always making an impact on the passing game last season. Jared Patterson, oh my gosh. This kid from, I think he played at DeMatha with Chase Young. I'm actually really excited about Jared Patterson. He's going to, I'm really hoping he makes it to this roster. There's also that kind of like spark that, I feel like he has that kind of spark like Antonio Gibson. Um, he fights to gain yards on the on the ground and, uh, I really hope that um, he makes it to the team. We'll see. There seems something special about him, just about what he's doing on the field already in OTAs and um, the other practices they were having. Uh, he's already made an impact. And Deami Brown, bro, I think this guy's going to be really good for us. He's really good at catching contested balls, and his speed is, like, electric. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, but they did say, like, when he's, like, wide open, I think it's, like, it's, like he doesn't catch as many balls. Really uh, prominent uh source in, in the sports in the sports world said and i think i like tweeted about it or f put it on facebook someone said that deami brown should have been a first round wide receiver and that gets me really excited of course um antonio gandy golden i think he i would i felt like i he was getting really hyped up last season but then injuries kind of held him back yeah he, he had a great college career he was like getting over it like his competition wasn't the greatest but like he was like moss and everybody which I, I hope he does for us he made a couple of like good, good key plays last year. Calvin Harmon, man, I hope he comes back and wants to eat, man. Like that kid, he was, I know he didn't really get a lot of situations to play in his rookie year. And then he got injured last year. His size, his athleticism, uh, he has a good good amount of speed in there. I think can be really good for our team. Adam Humphreys, I think he's going to be really good for us. He'll be a good veteran slot wide receiver. Terry McLaurin, oh my gosh. I know he doesn't like to be calling scary, t scary Terry, but golly, this man is getting defenses scared. I think Terry McLaurin is going to have a great year again. I think uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick or Taylor Heineke will be able to uh, get him to be, to have even more uh, good, good stats. When uh, Alex Smith and Dwayne Haskins, there was a lot of check downs. They really weren't like, well, <laughs> Dwayne tried to throw the ball down, but he was overthrowing Terry. Dax Milne, I've heard about good things out of this kid. This kid out of BYU, he was supposedly like uh, Zach Wilson's number one target. Steven Sims Jr., he better show out, man, or he's going to get cut. And I really liked him in his first year. He was, he was, he proved him himself and did a lot of good stuff. I even made a video. It was like, oh man, maybe he could be a, like a top wide receiver in the NFL. He needs to prove himself to that he can, that he deserves a spot on this roster because last year was not that great. He made a, he might've had some injuries, but still Steve, come on, man. We know, I know you, I know you're better than that. John Bates. I'm excited about it. I heard he's a good blocking tight end. So I'm excited about him. Sammy Reyes. He's an athletic freak. They're like, I think Ryan, no, I th not, I think. Ryan Fitzpatrick said he's like I've never seen like a one of I've never seen a human like this in like a long time or something like that like he's thinks he's he's an athletic freak he just needs to keep learning and learning and learning the game of football and also um like the techniques that go behind the game of football uh Logan Thomas man he 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 surprised me and last year I remember I, I think I talked I was like I don't know who this line I want, I want Jordan Reed back but bro I, give me Logan Thomas he was really key for for our offense last year he made a lot of key plays and he uh, really impressed me and I think he's going to do great with his team again uh, this season. I think Keith Asmail, hopefully he, he does good stuff for us. 
Tyler Larson, Chase Rulier. Bro, I, <laughs> I have a funny story. There was this one day I was on Twitter and randomly it said, Mark Rulier follows you on Twitter now. I was like, who's Mark Rulier? I looked it up. That's his dad. His dad followed me on Twitter. It was, that was the weirdest, not the weirdest. I, it was kind of cool. But yeah, so he's always, he's, he's a reliable center, which I really like. I did not know this guy was on our team. Bu Benchwell. That's a cool name. Wes Martin. I hope he does good stuff. He, he's okay. Brandon Sheriff, man, this... I don't know what to do about Brandon Sheriff, guys. I I, I, I really like Brandon Sheriff. I want to keep him, but also he has, like, the injury problem. But, like, I don't know. If My heart tells me to keep him, but we'll see what happens. Wes Schweitzer, I, he actually did pretty well. I'm pretty surprised what he did. Sam Cosme, I'm excited about this guy. This guy out of Texas, this guy's a big boy, man. I, uh, I'm i excited about this kid um, out of Texas. We'll see what, what happens with him. Eric Flowers, he did a great job for us. I remember, like, oh, Eric Flowers, the – Mr. Turntable or whatever they called him, but uh, he actually did a great job for us. Then he went to Miami and he had like injuries and stuff or whatever, but I'm excited to have him back in the building. Uh, Charles Leno Jr., bro, I, I heard this guy's really good. Um, saw a recent article by one of my uh, staff members um, about writing it about him in Sports Illustrated and about how he's excited to, to join this team and he's excited to uh, become a better football player and do all he can for this team. So I'm super excited about him. Uh, da -da 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 -da. David Sharp, I don't know. Cornelius Lucas. He'll be okay. I don't know. He might be all right. I think he was supposed to be the like starting left tackle, but then Leno came in. So we'll see. Okay. This is my favorite part. Let's go, baby. This defense. Defense, baby. I'm telling you, man, this defense. <laughs> Other NFL team. This this is this is a public service announcement. Other teams in the NFL better watch out. They better watch out. They better not cry because Chase Young is coming tonight. Chase Young is coming tonight. But yeah, uh, Chase Young, uh, Montez Sweat, uh, uh, Drum Payne, Jonathan Allen, Matt Ioannidis is coming back. This defense is going to be ridiculous. I'm excited about Jamin Davis. He's going to be a really good, at, a really good addition for us. Oh, Holcomb. That's the one thing I'm worried. A little, I'm a little worried about the secondary, but we just did add uh, William Jackson the third, which I really think he, he he's been. I've been seeing. I have been seeing really good stuff about him, and I'm super excited to see what he does for us. Kendall Fuller, man, he's a dog. I'm super happy to have him back. Danny Johnson, he's still on this team. And I feel like he's been on here for years. Good for you, Danny Johnson. I hope he does well in the return game because that's what it was something he was pretty good at. Bobby McCain, another asset that was added to our team, which I really like. Jimmy Moreland, my man, JMU. J-M-U. Dukes. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, Jimmy Moreland. I hope, uh, I got I to gotta be honest. There's a lot of good, uh, uh, like Benjamin St. Juice, uh, Cameron Curl. Jimmy Moreland, he needs, to, he needs to step it up a little bit, like, he was getting a lot of tackles, but uh, and he had that one pick against the Eagles, which was I was really happy about, uh, especially because he's a JMU, uh, JMU alum. Uh, but yeah, he, he kind of needs to step it up because he has some competition coming up on his uh, behind. Uh, let's see. Troy Apke. God, I sometimes don't know why he's on the team. I really don't know what the, what, what this coaching staff sees in him. So I just hope he just improves and doesn't get burnt all the time like it seemed like he did. Uh, Greg Stillman. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of going on a, on a downfall, but we'll see. Landon Collins, man. Landon Collins, when he was with the Giants, he was a dog. I'm telling you, he was a dog. And then he, when he was with us, he, uh, he was just okay. He was average. Um, but I hope he comes back and is even better after this injury, um, which really sucked that he had that injury. But we'll see. Uh, Curl, I'm really excited about him. Dustin Hopkins, man, Dustin, you better. I was very pissed off at Dustin Hopkins this last season. He missed a lot of kicks. And he needs to show up or he's, his ass is going to get cut. Excuse me for my French, but Dustin Hopkins, excuse me for my French again, get your shit together. Tressway, man, he's a, I'm sorry. He should have been the punter at the pro bowl this past season, but he wasn't, I don't know why, but yeah, uh, Tressway, he's a dog. I think he's the best punter in the NFL. It's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. That's okay. Uh, I still love you. Um, Cam Cameron Cheeseman. I like his last name. Cheese. That's some cheese. Cheese man, <laughs> but yeah, Cameron Cheeseman. I'm super excited about Cameron Cheeseman. Uh, I'm kind of sad that uh, Nick Sumberg is out of the uh, is out of the building. I really had a lot of respect for him, and I thought he was really good. But um, I hope the best for him. I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, Ed Oliver, Danby Sports Zone, Mike Fisher. I hope you have a uh, good rest of your day, night, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you. And uh, hail to the Washington Football Team or whatever it will be in the future. See you later. Bye.